you wanted to take a picture right now, for many it would be easy. Just get out your smartphone and snap away. But it's not always been so simple, as photographer Henry Eden has been finding out. Henry's been quite literally following in the footsteps of a pair of Victorian brothers by using a glass plate camera to capture the images that you see here behind us. They're amazing, aren't mm. they? All these black and white photographs taken on this really old camera, which is... Uh, in a museum, Henry Eden, that's in right. where? In, in Keswick. 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 Yeah, Keswick, right, museum, okay. And that's where you're, you're showing these photos that you've taken. Now, tell me, first of all, how heavy is one of these cameras and, and, and where do you sort of, how, how do you get it up the mountain? Well, the camera that we used uh, produces 10 inch by uh, 12 inch negatives. And uh, so it weighed, the rucksack that we'd carry it weighed about 45 pounds. And the uh, dark slides, which are like cassettes, which would hold the uh, film, uh, was in a separate rucksack, weighing about 25 pounds. So it's a lot of equipment to uh, cart up the hills. And it looks a bit like that, does it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is a sort of this, this is what nowadays you would call as a large format camera, which is so it's of that style. So there's the bellows, the lens at the front, and the ground glass screen at the back, which you cover with a cloth. And that's when you see the old Victorians would be under a cloth. They would be looking at this uh, ground glass screen. So this this a camera of this size would produce a five by four mm. inch negative. So the camera I was using was even if, bigger. Even yeah, way way bigger. Yeah. Now you're a photographer. I'm assuming you don't have this type of kit for a normal photo shoot. No, not at all. No. What made you decide to do this and to take a camera of this size and climb mountains to take these landscapes, to take these pictures? And, and you were limited with how many you could take every day. That's right. Yeah, I could only take three uh, at a time because I only have three uh, of the dark slides, which would hold. Um, one sheet of film each and uh, I've been involved in mountaineering for a long time and I came I had access to the camera um, through the Wasdale collection and the Mountain Heritage Trust and I thought it'd be interesting to shoot uh, contemporary modern climbing and modern landscapes with the camera that was used by the Abraham brothers mm -hmm. at the start of the sport climbing started around well, 1900. Really. Yeah that's right yeah so this is the uh, this is, uh, George and Ashley uh, Abrams from Keswick um, and before around 1900 people would climb for um, to train to go to the Alps. And then around 1900, 1910, it became a sport in its own right. Mm. I love what they climb in as well. It's great, isn't it? Like oh, yeah. In, in, a, in, a, in a good sports <laughs> And then jacket, these are some of the you ones you, you've taken today. That's so right, yeah. Slightly so more current. <laughs> yeah, so it's the idea was to show modern climbing through the, uh, the and the, literally the old an old lens. Yeah. What do you think you get from, from glass plates that you don't get from modern film? Uh, the, the big difference really was with the lens. I was using uh, a, modern, a modern film sandwiched between glass in the camera, but the, 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 the lens was made about 1870, and you get these lovely shades of, of grey and, and, and subtleties. That's a great picture, look mm. at that. That you just don't get with a modern lens. It almost looks like a solid Where is profile that? of somebody's face. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Chris Fisher climbing um, above Wasdale. Defying gravity. Yeah. Extraordinary picture. Um, so tell me just about the process. You, I mean, you told us you go behind this this um, this cover. Yeah. You know, yeah. And and then how long does it take for the picture to actually form on the glass plate? The exposure as I was doing were about a second. Oh, uh, so it's quite quick. Mm -hmm. Reasonably, reasonably quick because I was using a modern emulsion between the glass be between glass plates. Um, back then they would have taken exposures of, of three or four or five seconds, so they would take the cap off and you know count one yeah. or two. Oh, and that's the actual camera. We can now have a look. That's at right. Yeah, yeah. In action. Oh, it's huge. It's very big. It's made from mahogany and brass. Yeah. And you you lugged that up the mountain. Yeah. I mean, it collapsed slightly, sort of folded down to a degree, but um, yeah, it's still a bulky item and very susceptible to the wind mm. because it's so large. You, you, we had to shoot on uh, very still days. Now it's so far removed from today when people could take fifty selfies mm. before picking the right, you know, the one yeah, that they yeah. like. This is yeah. you taking three photographs. They have to be the best ones every mm. day. What do you make of that in terms of you know where we are now with photography and everybody being able to pick up a smartphone and taking a photograph, putting a filter on it, editing it and putting it out there? Well, the filter uh, just tries to emulate what cameras of this ilk and you know 100-year-old mm -hmm. camera would, would have done, so you're sort of adding that on in a blink. But I think people, it's easy to forget what photography is. You know, photography involves you know, putting cameras together, using your fingers to twirl up brass knobs, bringing your eye to the glass or the, your eye to the viewfinder. Whereas now, um, photography uh, is almost an abstract idea, you know, mm. because mm. You use a tele most people use a telephone to take a photograph. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to be much more selective. Yeah. You, because you've only got three plates. That's on your right. So, yeah. just, so there must have been many photographs that you had to just cast away or things that you'd see. You thought, mm, no, I'm going to save, save yeah. the plate. Yeah, we had to wait until uh, everything was spot on. There was one, uh, one, of, one of the shots that we took. You know, it yeah. was cloudy, but we could see there was going to be a sunny break come through. Mm. So we had to sort of, you know, stand around for half an hour 
wait, wait till the sun to come out. Yeah.